What's going on guys, Garrett here, and today we're doing a live commentary where I play and talk to you guys about a story. Now today's story is going to be not really a story, just about my past and what games I used to play when I was younger in regards to some of my favorite games and what led me to play GTA 5 and where I am today. Now I played a lot of games when I was younger and I was a huge MMORPG fan. One of those MMORPGs I used to play when I was younger was a game called Vindictus. Now this MORPG is actually pretty good and to this day I've actually just saw a trailer that I want to share with you guys that is fairly pretty good. It's pretty nice. It's a fast paced MORPG. If you guys do like MORPGs then you will enjoy this trailer. Here is a 30 second clip of their trailer. Here we go. For more information, make sure you guys check out the link in the description. Go click that thing. Now, if you guys did enjoy that trailer, let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy MMORPGs. Now, with that said, that was sort of sponsored by Nexon because they know that I've played Vindictus. Machinima reached out to me and was like, hey, did you ever play Vindictus? I was like, yes, I did when I was younger. That's one of my favorite games. It's a fast-paced MMORPG that you can basically, it's like, I want to say it's like a cave. Like, there's dungeons, right? In each dungeon, I guess, it's sort of like a dungeon. And you roll through dungeons, and you kill monsters and bosses, and you get loot. Just like any, any other RPG. Um, another way I used to play when I was younger was, of course, World of Warcraft and a game called Lineage 2. Now, those two games are some of my favorites, but, of course, it all led up to me playing Grand Theft Auto. You wonder, well, Garrett, how did you end up playing Grand Theft Auto of all games? Well, it's a weird story. I actually never used to play an Xbox 360, as you guys know, I did used to play a lot of MMORPGs and never really played any consoles. As you guys can tell from my Xbox Gamer score, it's pretty sad. I have like 400, and a lot of you guys have like 50 million, and I'm just like, hey, hi, I'm the noob, because I never really played consoles. To be honest with you guys, Xbox 360 is one of the first consoles I got that I actually played a game on for I guess the later generations okay so to break down what the heck I'm talking about so when I was younger my favorite console was the Nintendo 64 and the Dreamcast that's right you heard me correctly the Dreamcast now the Dreamcast was one of my favorite consoles and the N64 was my also favorite console. I played I played 007 on that and I played uh, Super Smash and on my Dreamcast, I played Blitz, and I played Gauntlet Legends. But then I started playing Grand Theft Auto V, and things changed. Now, when I was around 13 to 18, 13 to 18, I think around, maybe, maybe like, hmm, like 14 to 18, I played a lot of MMORPGs. I mean, too many. I spent countless hours farming, grinding loot, and it was some of the, actually one of my best times that I've had in my life because... It was just something I enjoyed. Similar to playing GTA 5, like you guys nowadays play consoles or play GTA 5. I used to play MMORPGs, and it stands for Massively Multiplayer Online Role Playing Games a lot. Uh, not necessarily a big role player where I'd be like, oh, fireball, fireball, fireball. But more of a, hey, there's a boss. Let's go kill him together because we're in a, in a clan or in a guild. Let's go do it. Hiya. So that's what I used to do when I was younger, and it was some of the best experiences of my life. So if you guys can, let me know in the comment section what, God, why can't they get up there? What games you play now, and if you've ever played Vindictus. Now, Vindictus was a game I played with a few friends back in the day, and I believe I played the early beta, or when the, oh, or when the game first launched. When I played the game, there was only about two characters. They hadn't released the archer, I believe, and they hadn't released the mage. It was like still like in its, um, you know, growing stages. And nowadays, when I just looked at the game recently, oh, they have so much. Now the game has been out for a little bit, but it does bring a lot to the table in terms of content because they have been out for a long time. Not, I guess, we wouldn't say a long time, a few years. They know what their audience is like. They know what to. 
they know what satisfies the gamer. So they provide very, very many opportunities for you to have a good time, and that's what I really enjoy about games. Similar to GTA 5, where you have you know DLC that come out regularly and things that Rockstar knows we want, but we haven't seen heist yet. As weird that as it is, but I know that soon enough we will see that type of content. And I do appreciate when game developers take into account the consumer, which is us, the people that play the game, to see what we want. See what we want. How do I keep dying? Are these guys hiding around the corner and I just don't see them? Or am I just that bad? I, I don't know what's going on here. But it, it came to a point for me where I still, till this day, like MMORPGs, even though I'm a bit older now. Um, for some reason, the classic MMORPGs like World of Warcraft, like Guild Wars, not necessarily Guild Wars, but they didn't cut it for me because one of the reasons was because they weren't fast-paced enough. And as much as, as as a sale, or a, like me trying to tell you to go check it out, this is, pretty much is because it is so fast paced. And that's what I like about FPS and Call of Duty, things like that, or games like that, because it is fast paced. Now Call of Duty isn't one of my favorite games, where I'm like, oh my god, I gotta play Call of Duty. But, it, because it is fast paced, and just like GTA V, there's so many things to do, it really adds that much to the game. Now let me know in the comment section down below what you guys personally think about that statement. If you guys agree that you're more into fast paced games than you are into games that require a lot of detail. I don't, when I had a lot more free time I was much more interested in games that I could spend hours in and I can really immerse myself. Because you know, I didn't have things, I didn't have real life responsibilities. But nowadays it's, oh no I'm not going to die to this one guy. Nowadays it's totally different. I can jump on GTA 5, I can jump on games like Vindictus, I can jump on games like Call of Duty, play for a little bit, and then jump right off. It's not that big of a deal because I know that once I get off, I'll come back and I'll be in the same spot and I'll be able to have just as much fun as I did when I first played that game that same day. So that's just pretty much my little story about games I used to play when I was younger to compare to games that I play now and what kind of games I like right now. So the games I'm playing right now, of course, are GTA 5 and other fast-paced games and... Hopefully, you guys can let me know in the comments section what games you guys are currently playing so I can stay up to date with what games you enjoy. Maybe I might bring some of those games to the channel. You never know. But with that said, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. As I did do some free roaming, I did some live commentary stuff. And there will be a live stream later today at twitch.tv slash jobbusgamers. Again, if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you guys do drop this video a like. I really enjoy doing live commentaries where I can reach out to you guys and talk to you. As it is a good way to, I don't know, talk to you guys. I mean, I... I try to do my best to speak to you guys on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. Well, not really on Instagram. I just post pictures there. But on on Twitter, for sure, if you guys want to talk to me, that is the place to do so. Um, and as well, my live commenters. I like to read the comments. I like to see what you guys are talking about. I like to see what you know what you like. And that's what it's all about. It's about us. And hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Stay up to date with everything I do in my personal life. And, of course, with all the games I do upload on the channel. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.